inductee into the One Pocket Hall of Fame. It's been a long overdue award, long deserved award, to the original Jersey boy. I mean, I know him since he's like 14, no, not that, maybe 15. Ellen Hopkins. This is this year's One Pocket Hall of Fame winner. Come on up, Ellen. Now, this guy, let's see, about in, for a period of time, now just before Efren became the world in the world was, believe me, this fellow right here. Okay, that's, don't, you know, you know me, I don't really give too many awards about who can play. I think everybody's an idiot. <laughs> Not this guy. This guy played when he was like, I met him, I know he was about, what, 15? Come to the, he was at Weenie Beanie's tournament in uh, Alexandria, 17 years old. I think he came in like second or something. Arlington, Virginia, he played in the nine ball. Uh, he was trying to learn one pocket, you know, one pocket then. I got an education from Winnie Vinny, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but he's uh, one of the great players. High roller, bets big money, played everybody around the world, and was was the best one pocket player in the world and for several years. Too. And, and he bet his own. How about Eddie Taylor? Even though he's from New Jersey, it's How hard to believe. Eddie Taylor? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Taylor. I, it, don't, it don't figure, you know, but uh, somehow he broke through that mold. Alan, I'm really pleased because he's a great. How'd that happen? He's about 20 pounds heavier. Alan, this is yours. Very deserving. Thank you. Hold it up. Yeah. both for OnePocket.org and the Hall of Fame here. I think it's great that we put the One Pocket players in the Hall of Fame because One Pocket is a special game. Uh, you have to have the brains for it, the skill for it, and know how to win at the game. It's a, it's a, it's a decision shot making game, and it's a very special game. And there's only there's certain players that know how to win at the game, and the players know who those players are. Uh, I had the opportunity to play with lots of great players in my lifetime, and I think that's why I became such a good player. Um, some players that impressed me, number one, you're sitting right here, I seen this boy play when he was like 12 years old, I said he was going to be a one-pocket champion, Shannon Dalton, without a doubt. I said that when he was 12 years old, I told his dad, that kid's going to be a one-pocket champion, and he is. Uh, of course, Scott Frost, without a doubt, you know, he's he's the, one of the best in the world right now, probably the best. I don't know if he's beat Ephraim yet, but you get to see that. <laughs> but uh, I also had the opportunity to play with great players like uh, Arnold Real Laurie and Irving Crane and Luther Lasseter. Uh, those were great players. They had a lot of knowledge of the game. Uh, got to play with Minnesota Fats, one pocket. Uh, we won't go into that. Uh, <laughs> but I'll tell you, the person that got me started playing one pocket was a fella by the name of Doc Holliday. And uh, he was a great one pocket player. He's the one that got me started playing. I was about 14 or 15 years old at High Q Billiard Lounge in Elizabeth. And he come over to me and he hustled me five hours a game playing one pocket. And uh, he tortured me for about three weeks. <laughs> and we kept adjusting and adjusting and adjusting. And then finally, you know, I, I started to beat him later on, but it took a while. But he's the one that got me started. And then all the other players that I played in my life, Billy Ann Cardone, great one pocket player. Uh, Danny DiLiberto, without a doubt, well-deserving one pocket player. I think one pocket is a game, uh, it has all the, all the aspects of pool involved. You have to know how to bank, you have to know how to control the cue ball, you have to know to make a decision on what shot to shoot, which ball to shoot, what to try to do to your opponent. It's a great game. And I think it's, a, I think it's great that we have a one pocket Hall of Fame. I think it was long overdue. I want to thank Greg Sullivan for making pool what it is today. Without Greg Sullivan, we wouldn't be playing in pool tournaments. Greg, you're great, man, thanks. You guys, you pool players, this is your best friend, just so you know it. Greg Sullivan, without a doubt. And uh, I'd just like to thank everybody for coming out. You know, oops. <laughs> I always do this. Um, but thank you very much for this award. Well, thank you, thank you.